Don't speak, bitch, don't say shit to me If you ain't speaking my language Mix some beans with promethazine Got me speaking in Spanglish Repeat and replay this Feel like I'm Nelly, I need motherfucking streams just to save me I try to hold my head high, I've been sitting on my life Got a feeling only Jesus could save me Bottles full of lean is a baby Told my mama, my mama, she just went crazy what is up everyone it is andrew pierre here of b to at production and publishing bringing you guys a new youtube video before i get started um if you guys would do so kindly check out the mix millennial project that i uh engineered and mastered mix as well as uh b to at my team uh co-produced so i appreciate if you guys check that out links are in the description now, uh, on to more about what we're doing in this video. In this video, this is going to be a very introductory video for those that are new to making beats, and especially those new to making beats inside of FL Studio. What we're going to kind of cover is bars, steps, and essentially how we can kind of do some of these func use some of these functionalities and uh, structures and uh, views into making a beat and we're gonna look excuse me we're gonna look at a beat that I and my team have made or I think me and Tony made um, and then I think that's it if you guys ever want to reach me Tony or beat AT productions and publishing all of our contact information is always in the description of our videos. Um, another thing is we have a lot of videos on our channel. Feel free to always check on our channel for additional videos. We cover a lot of stuff. Final thing, <laughs> then we get started. Um, currently in early May, uh, maybe early June 2017, our website is going through some changes. So bear with us during this little time frame. That's all. Not early May, late May, mid to late May. All right, with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. So before I really want to continue and uh, discuss about a lot of the things, uh, let's first talk about uh, tempo and BPM real quick. So naturally, when you pull up FL Studio, it should pull up your tempo at 140 uh, and it tells you right here it says tempo and it's telling me 140 so since it's 140 it's over 100 bpm which makes it I believe double time um, or it's single time okay I always get mixed up whether double time is before 100 BPM or if it's after and essentially what that means is 140 would be 70 BPM but double the speed and then like 8 180 BPM would be 90 BPM but double the speed hence double time or whatever um, and that's important because it can change our structure of the beat so if we were at 80 BPM and we pull up our playlist um, I would suggest you guys watching I put up a video recently uh, going over the playlist and uh, channel rack and what those two features are these are very important features and understanding those is essential so inside our playlist I went over to our uh, little function playlist options and went to snap and went to bar and then it shows us each bar. So essentially, if we were to do with the rap standard, it would be a 16 bar, would be a verse. So essentially this would be the whole verse. And it's about like 50 seconds long. It's about 48 seconds long at 80 BPM, which is about a verse uh, length. Then a chorus would be approximately about half that. So, chorus being eight bars then a verse being 16 bars sometimes 12 bars so you'd get a 32 
like a 32 bar verse would be two verses or uh, a 24 would be like two 12 uh, bar verses. So you can do either or. Um, I sometimes would do a, um, I would normally do an eight bar intro, four to eight bar intro, then an eight bar chorus, then maybe a 12 bar verse, and then another eight bar chorus, then a 16 bar chorus two, then a, no, then 16 bar verse two, then a chorus three, then an outro. Um, and that's easier for me to say than done. But now if we went to 160, which would be double time, or double that time, you see it's only telling us it's 24. But when we go over here, it's 48. And that's 32 bars. So what that literally just means is that we had to do double length. So everything is sped up twice as fast. So when you're working in 140 BPM, if you really wanted a full verse, this would be your full verse. Here is a 16 bar um, verse. But then you could do a 12 bar verse, which would be this. So now let's go back to our uh, 80. So now we got our um, standard verse. And so then if you would then might wonder, so what's under that bar? Well, then we got beats. So if we went to snap, then we got beats. Now it'd be like each tick, like boom, 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 boom. So you got your beats. Well, what's under a beat then? Well, then it goes into steps. And so you got a bar. So here's a b four bars into like one measure, essentially. Um, and then inside each bar, there would be four beats. And then f inside each beat, there would be four steps. So each, if we filled this, this is one beat. Here's a second beat, third beat, four beat, one bar, which you know. And so, and then each one of these are steps. How we know that? Fill each two steps. It's filling each uh, two steps. So I mean, it's pretty simple. Understanding each of the functionality of steps, beats, and uh, bars will then allow you to understand the structure. Pretty simple because then once you know, oh well, it's just a uh, eight bar intro, eight bar chorus, sixteen bar verse, then that's great. And also the importance of this also comes for rappers because if you want a feature and you're gonna pay for someone to come on, you kind of want to know uh, what you're paying for, so how long their verse is gonna be for because usually they'll charge a 16 bar verse or then they might charge an eight bar chorus. So they'll charge different things and having different prices. And you don't wanna pay someone and find out that the beat was 12 bars and they just wrapped over another, essentially they over wrapped and then you overpaid. Just like small stuff like that. So understanding the structure is like essential. Um, and so, with all that being said, let's go ahead and pull up a, a thing that we've made somewhat recent, recently. Oh no, let's not save this. All right, so now we have our beat pulled up. So this should give you kind of like a big outline of how we view our projects. So we're at 112 BPM, meaning we're in that double time. So essentially this is 16 bars, but it's really eight bars. So what that really means is that it's eight bars, which is our eight bar intro. All right, so that's cool. So here's this. So we got, mm, two, 
three, four, eight. Because that's our 16. I always get confused. 16. Yeah, 24. So here's a 24 bar verse, which essentially is just a 12 bar verse. Then it goes into an 8 bar chorus. Then it goes into another 12 bar verse. Then it goes into a chorus again, another eight bar chorus, then a four bar outro. So that's essentially that. And um, it's all like that just because it's 112 BPM. I'll go ahead and play just a little section of this. I'm gonna play just this portion. There might be some lagging. So yeah, there's that. That's just uh, a little work in progress. We're still working on this uh, little track. It's just a little pop track. But this should give you kind of like an overview of how we would structure something uh, with our tags uh, since it's double BPM. Now you'd be like, so what happens if I was an 80 BPM? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, you have your intro. I'm just doing uh, Alt T to do these uh, tags. You got your core. Let's just go verse. And then you got your chorus. Yeah, and then you got verse two. Might have a bridge right here. So one, two, three gives us our 12. And then that last six, 12 to 16 bars would be a bridge. And then this would be your outro, essentially. Yeah, and then this would give you about a three minute song. So yeah, boom, that's how you do, uh, just one way you do it. So, intro.
just click something. Yeah, one second. There you go. So essentially it looked like this. And it's really just, this is just one of many outlines you can do. And with all this information, you guys should be able to understand just a very general basis of how this is done. Um, 80 BPM just means there's 80 beats per minute. 80 beats would be, well, you got, um, there's four beats in a bar. So 80 beats, that's 20 bars should essentially be a minute if we count it right boom which you know 20 bars because right before 21 starts all at zero gives us one minute 80 beats per a minute there's four beats in a bar so divide 80 divided by four means we're gonna have 20 bars until we get to a minute that kind of is, it's all math essentially music is math that's really what it is once you understand this stuff it's like easy peasy so yeah if this is helpful for you guys if you guys benefited from it be sure to give us a like thumbs up share subscribe if you guys have any questions be sure to add us add me on snapchat andrew t repeer i usually respond to everyone um and i always post music and stuff there so yeah it's a good way to reach me so Glad you guys uh, stopped by, checked out the video, and I'll see you guys later.